वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे वी शेल कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन मेजरमेंट एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ हीट एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द लेसन सो स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल लर्न अबाउट टेम्परेचर सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट हाउ हॉट और कोल्ड एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज बाई टचिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट However, our sense of hot or cold is relative. That means by touching of the object, we can say that uh, if if we are touching the eye, so we can uh, feel that this is cold object. And uh, by touching the hot object, we can sense that it is a hot object. So to understand this, we will perform. We shall uh, look at one activity. so to understand this we will try this activity that we have to take three similar vessels let us call them a b and c and we have to fill the vessel a with hot water and the b with cold water and put some water from a and b in c that means it is a warm water and a is hot and b containing cold water and we have to dip your right hand uh, in a and left hand in b and keep them immersed for 2 to 3 minutes now dip your both the hands in vessel c what do you feel even though both the hands are dipped in water in the same level that is water at the same temperature your right hand will find the water to be cold that means a sorry b while the left hand will find it to be hot that is vessel a vessel a it contains hot water now you must have understood from the from this activity that we cannot determine temperature of an object accurately by simply touching the object and also you may hurt yourself by touching very hot or cold object so we feel the need of some device for measuring the temperature of particular object now thermometer is a device for measuring the temperature of object so this is a thermometer which is used to measure the term temperature of particular object we have to answer one question what are potential and kinetic energies now the capacity to do work is called as energy and this energy can be stored in different forms when an object is at rest and the body is said to be possess potential energy that means uh, at uh, when when body is at rest position it uh, possess potential energy but in another case when the object is in motion then it is said to possess kinetic energy you can see the station the object which is at a peak that is it stores potential energy by moving moving cycle it is in the form of a kinetic energy now we have to we shall learn about heat and temperature now what is the difference between heat and temperature let's understood this let's understand heat and temperature now you know uh, that a substance is made up of atoms and the atoms in a substance are always in motion that means particles or atoms of uh, the particular particle is always in motion and the total kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance is a measure of the heat contained in that substance now as it is kinetic energy that means the atoms are continuously moving so it possess kinetic energy while the temperature of a substance is related to related to the average kinetic energy of atoms and if the average kinetic energy of atom in two object is equal then the temperature will also be equal now motion of atoms in gas and sol solid let's understand this now here one picture is given on the screen that it shows the velocities that means speed of atoms in a gas at high and low temperature 
respectively now the direction and the length of the arrows attached to the atoms show the direction and magnitude of the velocity of the atoms and the velocity of atoms in the gas at higher temperature is larger than the velocity of atoms in the gas at lower temperature so student by looking at the picture you can clearly see that in cool gas fever and less energetic collision that means particle will move with a less velocities and in hot gas while the temperature is more in hot gas so what happened more and more energetic collision will take place that means they will move with a um, great direction and magnitude this is about gas now let's see the motion of atoms in solid now the velocity of atoms in a solid object are shown by arrows in the picture and the atoms in a solid object are tied to one another because of the forces acting between them you can see the red colored atoms they are tightly held by the they are tightly held why because of the forces acting between them and so they cannot be displaced from their places they, they their position is fixed our limits of motion is you can see the limit of motion of atom in solids because of heat they oscillate oscillate means they will vibrate so to little extent now around their fixed position and higher the temperature of the solid faster is their velocity of oscillation that means they will vibrate more when the temperature of the solid is higher now here we have to see the temperature is measured in units of celsius that is degree celsius fahrenheit degree fahrenheit and kelvin so these are the three units for measuring the temperature and kelvin is used in scientific experiment while the other two are used in daily life now we have to see the relation between the three units that is celsius fahrenheit and kelvin by the formula so this is a formula to see the relationship between these three units it is first formula is fahrenheit that is f minus 32 divided by 9 is equals to c divided by 5 this is the first formula to see the relationship between these three units now the second formula is k is equals to c that is uh, calvin is equals to celsius plus 273.15 so these two formula we have to use in the numericals to solve the numericals also so keep in mind student these two formulas are very important for numericals now here we have to look at the numericals just so let's solve the numerical first is how much will the temperature of 68 degree fahrenheit be in celsius and kelvin that means here we have to use the the relationship between the three units just we have seen in our previous slide so in this question given is temperature in fahrenheit is 68 degree fahrenheit and find out we have to find out the temperature in celsius and kelvin so let's do the solution so according to the formula one so formula 1 is f minus 32 divided by 9 is equals to c divided by 5. So the what uh, f is the value of f is 68. So 68 minus 32 divided by 9 is equals to c divided by 5. Now here just we have to do the cross multiplication to find out the c. So c is equals to 20 degree Celsius. Now according to formula 2, now by formula 2 we will we can calculate the value of Kelvin. So K is equals to C plus 273.15. So value of C just we got by formula 1 that is 20. So 20 plus 273.15 is equals to 293.15. So this is how we have to calculate the value of temperatures in Celsius and Kelvin by using two formulas. So just write the answer in sentence. Thus the temperature in Celsius is 20 degrees Celsius and in Kelvin it is 293.15 Kelvin. Now look at the second question. At what temperature will its value be same in Celsius and in Fahrenheit? 
so given in this question is if the temperature in celsius in fahrenheit will be same that is f is equals to c so using formula number 1 that is f minus 32 divided by 9 is equals to c by 5 now here we can write c minus 32 multiply by 5 And C into nine. So in in the place of F, we can write C. Why? Because Fahrenheit is equals to Celsius in this question only. Okay. So just we have to do the cross multiplication. So by doing this, we can get five C minus one sixty D is equals to nine Celsius. So by doing this, we can get we can we get the four C is equals to minus one sixty. That means C is equals to F is equals to minus forty. Degree. So let's write the answer in sentence. Thus, the temperature in Celsius in Fahrenheit will be same at minus forty degree. So, student, here we have to see the thermometer. Now, you must have seen the thermometer that is used when someone at home has fever, and that thermometer is called as the clinical thermometer. In different thermometers are used for different purposes. and we have to see uh, the different types of thermometers but before looking at the different types of thermometer let's first understand about the working of thermometer so working of thermometer so first a thermometer is shown on the screen it has a narrow glass tube you can see the middle tube glass tube which has filled with a liquid you can see the red colored liquid in the middle of the glass tube the an earlier mercury was used but as it is harmful for us it has been replaced with alcohol so red colored part is nothing but alcohol and the rest of the volume of the tube has vacuum and its other end is closed you can see in the middle part a red colored um, a glass tube at the one end it has a bulb like a structure and the other hand other end it is completely closed and the uh, alcohol is filled in it now the bulb is kept in contact with the object whose temperature is to be measured so that its temperature becomes same as that of the object now because of the increase in temperature the alcohol inside it expands and its level in the tube rises now using this property of the expansion of alcohol we can calculate or we can uh, obtain the temperature of particular object Now next type is a clinical thermometer. So you can uh, observe the clinical thermometer on the screen. And as the body temperature of a healthy person is thirty-seven degree Celsius, the clinical thermometer are designed to measure temperatures between thirty-five degree Celsius and forty-two degree Celsius. Now these days, instead of the above, instead of these type of uh, thermometer, the digital thermometer. is used so this is the next type that is a digital thermometer and this does not use the expansion of liquid due to heat and instead it has a sensor which can measure the heat coming out from the body directly and from that we can measure the temperature of the body easily by using the clinical thermometer so digital thermometer is better for use the next type of thermometer is a minimum maximum thermometer now the thermometer used in laboratory is similar to sh uh, shown uh, as we have seen in our previous slides so except that the range of temperature that is it can measure is large spanning 40 degree celsius to 11 110 uh, degree celsius or even larger so special type of the thermometer is used to measure the minimum and maximum temperatures in a day and it is called as a maximum and minimum thermometer which can be used in laboratory so by using this we can calculate the minimum temperature and maximum temperature both with one thermometer only so these all are the different types of thermometer which we have seen now next is a heat exchange so let's understand this so when a hot object is kept in contact with a cold object what happened they both exchange heat 
and the hot object gives away heat while the cold object absorbs the heat and thus the temperature of the hot object is decreases and the while that of the cold object is increases you can see the bulb um, shape thermometer is been put over the hot object and cold object so hot object temperature will decreases why because it loses the heat and uh, the temperature of the cold object increases why because it will absorb the heat and this means that the kinetic energy of atoms in the cold object goes on increasing while that in the hot object goes on decreasing and a time comes when the average kinetic energy of atoms in both object become equal which means that the temperature of both object become equal so this is the principle this is also called as the principle of heat exchange so student i hope you all have understood this well which i have whichever i have tried you to explain so next part of this lesson we will continue in our next video thank you